Everybody, good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here early on this uh, uh, Tuesday morning where we still have a wind chill warning in place until noon today. So we are getting close to the end of this here as we start to get out of the deep, deep freeze anyway. This thing has been in effect for our area since Friday evening. It's still very cold out there this morning, but we will see improvements as the day goes on. But still this morning, many of us are going to see wind chill values of 20 to 40 below to start off the morning, but we will see improvements. Lots of sunshine today. It's all clear this morning. West wind's a little bit brisk. Now that's leading to the very, very cold wind chills out there for those that have that wind, but it's going to be a helpful wind to try to bring those temperatures up a little bit today, finally. Um, late in the day, we'll start to see a few clouds move into the northwest. Those will move across northern Nebraska. We may see a few clouds elsewhere tonight. So kind of a Mostly clear to partly cloudy kind of a night, maybe even mostly cloudy up north. Now tomorrow the day starts off with some sun at least, mixed with some clouds. More sun I think the far, farther southwest you go, but as the day goes on, clouds will really start to thicken up. It becomes mainly cloudy late in the day. Maybe even some late day flurries out west here, or light snow in the panhandle, flurries in here. As this pushes east southeastward, we could get in on a little bit of that light snow. It's more than likely just going to lead to maybe a dusting of snow overnight into early on Thursday morning. A better chance is going to come in with this round right in here Thursday, especially Thursday afternoon. That'll roll southeast across the area, and that'll bring us our last truly decent chance of snow for at least a little while here, but it could have some impacts for our area. So let's look at snowfall totals here, and again, I'm going to stop this right there, that dusting. Let's back that up right here. That's the little dusting of snow that falls Wednesday night. Again, under an inch of snowfall. I don't think we'll see much out of that here. But then you see it coming from the northwest. There's that next round of snow that moves in here Thursday through Thursday night. That one may leave one to three, maybe four inches of snowfall. Right now, higher amounts expected across the north and the east. Tri-Cities, one to two. Maybe if this thing shifts just a little bit south, three inches of snowfall. But mostly kind of in that one to two range with lower amounts in the southwest. So this is not going to be a major snow. We're probably looking at winter weather advisory type criteria in northern and eastern areas, but it's also going to come with another shot of cold air. So we're talking about something that may cause some travel issues out there Thursday night into Friday morning, but it's going to get really cold again heading into the end of the week. Highs today. Teens and 20s, warmer temperatures in the west, colder in the east still, so that warmer air is kind of budging in from the west today. Tonight, we might keep temperatures above zero in, every, in all spots. That's good news. No more minus signs for at least a day or two. Uh, may even stay as warm as 10 for a low up in O'Neill. So it's an improvement. Tomorrow, this is the best weather we get this weekend. You say best weather. Well, it's not great, but it is better. Highs into the 20s, maybe even some 30s out west. Might even get near freezing or so way out west. But like I said, this is about as good as it gets. We get that next shot of colder air starting tomorrow night, Wednesday night into Thursday morning. We get back down into the single digits. And then look at those highs on Thursday. Highs anywhere from the uh, upper single digits in the northeast to the low 20s in the southwest as that colder air sinks southward. And in fact, we'll probably see falling temperatures to where it's a little bit colder later on in the day and it's going to get worse uh, Thursday night Friday Friday night Saturday before it gets better so again we got those two rounds of snow the dusting not much right here for Wednesday night the better chance is going to come Thursday afternoon and Thursday early evening that'll be gone by midnight and then we're back to mostly sunny skies but it's going to be cold for the end of the week Friday and Saturday highs in the single digits and those lows are going to be back down below zero so we're probably talking wind chill advisories maybe wind chill warnings returning once again that'll be determined by the uh, local national weather service offices sunday is kind of the next best chance of a little bit of a warm-up and beyond monday looking better as we get into the mid 30s and in fact next week we could kind of settle into the mid 30s closer to average here it would probably be better but the problem is we've got all the snow to melt off the snow is going to keep us from getting to our full t full potential otherwise we might be seeing 40s next week but i think with the snow on the ground that keep, that holds us back quite a bit next week here and then there's a lot of snow yet to melt off but the outlook from the climate prediction center here for next week, this is the 23rd through the 29th of January, showing that not just us, but most of the country is going to see a nice rebound in temperatures. In fact, the Great Lakes could easily see the best weather of the entire country, maybe the West Coast as well. We may still be looking at some above average precipitation. There is another shot at some moisture coming in the middle of next week, and we may get clipped by some of that here. So some good moisture could come 
in these areas here. And we may be close to some of that too, and it may actually be more rain than uh, anything for our area next week. We'll see here. Uh, but let's show you some of the long range models. This is the North American model. Let's back this up real quick. So this is this morning, quiet today. Here comes that dusting tomorrow night. It's not much. I don't think we'll see much. And then that better shot coming Tuesday or Thursday afternoon and evening. And notice it's the focus towards the better chances in the northeast. Moves on out of here. And this is as far as that model goes this Friday morning right there. Let's look at the European model. Oh, this, that's the NAM again. <laughs> I apologize for that. The, uh, the European model. So the, uh, I can't remember what ECMWF means, but I just call it the Euro for short here. It's, it's based out of a, co a company in Europe, basically, that does this, has the algorithm for this forecast model. But anyway, here comes the dusting on Wednesday night right there. Again, not much. And then here comes the Thursday around, Thursday and Thursday night. This one's a little more aggressive than some models. It's out of here Friday, early Friday morning before sunrise. Then we're kind of quiet through the weekend here. And as those winds turn southerly, especially by Sunday and Monday, that's when we start to warm up a little bit. And then again, the middle of next week, maybe even prior to that, we'll see. Could be some moisture. And this could be more rain than anything. I think it's towards the middle and end of next week we have a better shot. Now, this is as far out as the European model goes. Let's check out the GFS finally here. Again, quiet today. Here comes the dusting tomorrow night right there. The GFS is a little more aggressive with the snow Wednesday night. And then Thursday, there's the best chance. This one's a little farther south than the European model is. This one has a little more snow to towards the Tri-Cities and even towards southwest Nebraska. It's clearing out by, by midnight. I think most of us are done Thursday night. And so then after that, it's pretty smooth sailing from there. We'll start to warm up Sunday, Monday, and beyond. And again, there's maybe some of those light and limited moisture chances, especially towards the middle of the week could see moisture one of the big concerns and there may be snow down the road we'll see here one of the big concerns down the road is with the warmer temperatures coming when we get back to the 30s a lot of snow melt some ice melting as well and maybe some rain is there could be some potential ice jamming on some of the rivers around the area i don't think this will be to the level of what we saw back in march of 2019 one because it's not going to get as warm as it did back in march of 2019 and we're not supposed to get as much rain as we did back then too but I do want to show you a couple of other graphics before we finish things up here is the uh, temperature trends. First, we'll use the European model, then we'll show you the GFS model. And again, we're still very cold this morning. It gets better today, better yet tomorrow. That's about as good as it gets this week. Here comes the next shot of cold air Thursday, and especially Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday will be very, very cold again. Although by Saturday afternoon, we're actually better. Sunday's better yet. And then beyond, we kind of settle into a milder weather pattern just notice most of the country is kind of shying away from the bitterly cold arctic air other than maybe the new england states but that arctic air is going to remain back up in canada kind of similar to what we saw back in uh the pre-christmas time frame where we weren't dealing with any arctic air yet so yeah we might get a little cold spell late next week but not the arctic air that we have been seeing recently here's the gfs model again very cold this morning Improvement today, a better improvement on Wednesday. Next shot of cold air Thursday, Friday into Saturday morning. Saturday afternoon gets a little better, but Sunday is where we start to see more improvements. Monday, even better yet. And then just notice most of the country is improving. We're getting rid of the Arctic air. Well, it's still January cold. It's not, it's not North Pole cold, at least. So we, yeah, we're probably not looking at super warm weather, but at the same time, we're not in the deep freeze by next week. So it's an improvement, at least. I'm still looking forward to spring and 50s and 60s returning, but for now we'll settle with the 30s, I guess. That'll at least be an improvement. So I want to thank you all for watching on this Tuesday morning. I hope it's a good one. Stay warm out there. I will see you all again on Wednesday with all of the latest when it comes to the next shot of cold air and that round of snow that's going to come through on uh, Thursday. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye.